I realized that people really, really, really are invested in wanting 2024 to be the year of the rapture. I am not talking about the timing of the rapture when I talk about the overview of world history, specifically as it relates from creation to kingdom and the overview of uh, the pattern in the mount. When I did my most recent video, I got a comment about how I included year zero and how if I hadn't, then it would have been 2024. People are just willing to say anything to get 2024 to be a viable option. And it's not in my research because all weeks of years begin on Nissan 10. If and since Nissan 10 is passed for this year, 2024 is no longer an option. But to help people who don't understand that I don't incorporate a year zero, because when you're using the Gregorian calendar, you have to follow the rules of the Gregorian calendar. I have this chart. This is another part of the chart. It's a whole huge chart with like so many data points on it. And 100% of the time when I show this research, I show you how I counted the transition from BC to AD so that there aren't people who come by and say, hey, uh, you did include year zero and you're wrong because this, this, and this. I didn't include year zero. And if I had, it would have taken us to 2024, which is wrong. Because the Gregorian calendar doesn't have a year zero, I excluded it. And so what you'll see here is this chart that says transition from BC to AD. And as you can see, I'm counting down seven sevens. This is a jubilee. Uh, one period of seven, two periods of seven, three, four, five, six, seven sevens, which is 49 years and in the 50th year, hallowed and proclaimed jubilee. So this is a jubilee period from 34 BC to 16 AD to show the transition because right here it goes from 1 BC to 1 AD. There is no year zero. So I promise that I have done 100% due diligence and gotten all of this technically precisely accurate. Now that doesn't have anything to do with whether or not people want to hear it. That is a different conversation altogether. But 100% of the research that I have done in all of these data points that I have, and there are a lot, every single thing works out and I have so much that has to work out and if anything doesn't, then it's wrong. I don't have anything that doesn't work. So this tells me that I have probably done enough due diligence to if 1406, then 2025, and I'll give you all of the reasons why these dates are correct. Again, it has nothing to do with whether or not people agree with it or whether they want to hear it. Those two things have nothing to do with anything. They are emotional. They are not logical. This is simply mathematical. That is all. Math isn't concerned with emotion. There is a starting point and there's an ending point and there's a count in between. Is your starting point right? Is your count right? Therefore, is your ending right? That is all mathematics is concerned with. It doesn't care how you feel about it. It only cares whether your starting point is right, whether your count is right, whether your process is right, and therefore your end is going to be right or wrong as a result. This is part of the scientific method, is if your uh, starting point is correct, and you've done all of the process steps correctly, you're going to arrive at a conclusion that is sustainable, or at least interpretable, is repeatable. Everyone can do exactly what I did and arrive at the same conclusion. It doesn't care how you feel about it. And this is where I lose people in this conversation is because most people are invested in outcome. They don't want information that tells them something they don't want to hear. And I personally don't care whether people do or don't want to hear. I'm just trying to get to a correct answer, irrespective of how anyone's going to feel about it. So um, I understand why so many people want 2024. But at the end of the day, if it's not right, I don't care. And I'm not going to feed false hope. And that's what people are wanting me to do or are coming on my comments and doing, trying to say, oh, but we still have time for 2024. 
No, we do not, because weeks of years begin on Nisan 10. That is hard-coded into Bible prophecy and Bible history. It is not going to change. If and since the 70th week begins on Nisan 10, and there is no, uh, nothing in the Bible that would substantiate a gap of any sort, then we're looking at a close to, if not on, Nisan 10 for the rapture. Okay? You can feel however you want about that. But my job is not to, to provoke feeling. My job is to deliver what the Bible says as accurately as possible. And that is what I'm doing here.